I'm Leanne Jury. And I'm Abby Hanabarger. And today we're going to be doing the methylene blue traffic light experiment. And to start off, we're going to need um, a 500 milliliter Florence flask with a stopper, 300 milliliters of distilled water, and 8 grams of potassium hydroxide. We'll also need 10 grams of dextrose, 6 to 8 drops of methylene blue indicator, and for our experiment, we're going to use 7. And according to pubchem.gov, methylene blue indicator is a dye used in paper, cosmetics, and other products. We'll also need a spatula, goggles, gloves, and an apron. So to start off, we're going to add our 300 milliliters of distilled water into our Florence flask. We're going to dissolve the hydrogen, potassium hydroxide into the water. And we'll shake it up to make sure it dissolves evenly. And finally, we're going to add the 10 grams of dextrose. the seven drops of methylene blue indicator. Okay. And she'll give it a swirl. And now it needs to sit undisturbed for about a minute. To save time, we've already prepared the solution ahead of time, and as you can see, it's clear. And um, to connect our experiment, we're going to swirl it up, and it will turn blue. And this can be done multiple. So the results show that the oxygen present in the flask undergoes oxidation, which is when oxygen is gained and the electrons are lost. So this transforms the methylene blue dye to its original color. Also, the basic properties cause the dextrose to reduce the methylene blue to colorless. And swirling the solution reintroduces oxygen, so it reoxidizes the methylene back to its blue form. And it, this can be done as, may, as long as there's oxygen in the flask. Because of the oxidation, the methylene blue turned to its original color. In order for the colorless reduction to occur, the electrons are gained. To explain this a little better, as indicator A is added to the O2, it undergoes oxidation to the indicator B, which is the blue form. Then it goes back to reduction, making it colorless. And um, reduction is um, the loss of um, the loss of oxygen, so the electrons are gained back into the methylene blue. And this side-by-side -side oxidation reduction reaction is called a redox reaction. So our first solution just turned clear, so if we shake it again, it'll turn blue. So some applications for our experiment. First of all, the methylene blue can be used to examine um, DNA and RNA under a microscope, and it is also being tested right now to see if it can help treat cancer. It, um, and our oxidation reduction reaction, according to scienceclarified.com, is used in explosions, which are sped up combustions, and, and also fueling the space shuttle. On a smaller scale, oxidation reduction reactions also play a very important role in the process of photosynthesis. And an experiment, another experiment that could be tested is to measure the rate of electron transfer by plants. And 
the components in this experiment would be an electron acceptor called DCPIP, and in the blue form is the oxidized form. And as it accepts the electrons, it becomes colorless, which would be the reduced form. And you, we can measure that color change using a spectrophotometer. And the extent of color change in the electron carrier DCPIP is proportional to the number of electrons transferred during the light reaction. So the DCPIP in the plant material go through a reaction through the transfer electrons doing oxidation and reduction, and then it'll change back from blue to colorless. Thank you.